Good evening, everybody. Let's see who we got in the chat. We got Marianne Bimler, Jennifer Ocean Homestead, Heartland with Heartland H and HQ with Dink and Tank. My buddy Gillum Farms Johnny. We got Heather Landscrum. And No judgment here with Tish Russ. And what is that one I just saw? This is an open mic. The uh, link is at the top of the chat. Reverend Dreams. Can Canadian Family Life. We got James Hall in here. And My Alaska. Hello, Bill. There's Beth Cornett. Our cabin in the woods, that's Tony. How you guys doing? Boy, I had a day, technical day, or tech. What? My brain isn't good for tech, I'll tell you. I got a new iPad and a new iPhone. And uh, today I was trying to transfer my old uh, Android to iPhone and it's kind of been a pain in the butt this night and still haven't figured it out. I got done with tech and then realized that she was still talking to me on my old phone. I was like, wait a minute, how are you still talking to me on my old phone? She goes, I don't know. <laughs> so it looks like I'm going to be going back to the uh, Spectrum store. Not for nothing, Homestead. Good evening. And Tim Mason. There's my Ann Dale. Love seeing you come in. Uh, we got Land Gunther. And uh, let's see. Treasure Hunter. That's Neil. I look so forward to seeing all of you guys when I get my car and travel about 20 hours by the time I get done with it. It's going to be... I'm actually looking forward to the drive because I'm going to go camping. I'm going to camp out at Bar Run Forge and keep going. And we already got somebody in the green room. There we go. Boom. You're not, uh, you're not in your head the wrong way. <laughs> we already got someone in the green room. You've had that, that StreamYard link up since before you went live. <laughs> I just do it so I don't have to worry about it when I'm setting up later. I, I set that up usually when I set it up in the morning or afternoon. Yeah. So, uh. How have you been doing, Brian? I'm doing pretty good. i trying hey, to figure out all the stuff I've got to do before hey, I can go. And I just got my iPad yesterday, was it? Yeah. So now I can start, start the cornhole boards, which I should have started already, but I wanted to do it in a higher quality video. So now I can because my iPad is here and I can do it in, I don't know that I'm going to go 4k, but I at least would like to go 1080 P with 60 frames per second. Yeah. That, that'll look good. So that's about as good. As but there is a setting. Everybody called me crazy, but there is a setting that is 2.8. 2. I don't know who was calling me crazy. <laughs> I think you were calling yourself crazy. I think all the rest of us did. No, people things. said, I've never heard of that. I didn't say that. It. it was all you. All I didn't you. say that. Go back and watch it. <laughs> I ain't watching all those hours. <laughs> Old Man King Homestead's in here, and so is Debbie Gr Dratch. And My Wild Home. Oh, people, I was in Tish Mike and Tish's or... Full-blown countries live. I ran the whole thing the whole time, but I was on tech 
service with my iPhone the whole time. Oh, what a pain in the butt. And it's still not solved. Um, it would have been, was, it would have been fine if you'd have been going from an iPhone to an iPhone. Yeah. Well, maybe next time I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> but I did get the, uh, the, um, 15 pro max. Hey, that's what I got. I, I, I only got the 256 because on my iPad, I got the 512 and I yeah. just didn't see the need for both of them being that high. Yeah. I mean, my iPad's always with me. If I have to, I'll transfer stuff to it. Right. Well, you know, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's, that's uh, a lot of gigs. It is. That's a lot of gigs. Now, my iPad that I've done everything, every content video you've seen me do, with the exception of that snow plowing one, was all done on my iPad. And that's only a 62 gig. Yeah. But it was in 1080p30. Yeah. 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 So uh, James said you would have been great if you'd just stayed with that Android. Well, the thing of it is, my I have a M1 iMac and an iPad, or now I have another iPad, and I wanted them all to be the same. I love my M1 iMac. Love right. it. That's what I've got right here is an iMac, and then I have an iPad, iPhone. I think we've got two two iMacs actually. They all seem they seem to work real good. Yeah, well, we'll see. You don't, you people, when we go to the, the meetup, you don't have to see me walking around with an iPad to videotape stuff. Everybody <laughs> laughed. Okay, everybody was laughing at that. <laughs> <laughs> they said, <laughs> and anytime you saw me in anybody else's video and I was videotaping, it was like this. This is what it looked like. <laughs> And Dale says, I don't know a thing about the numbers. I just go for max of whatever it says. So whatever it says, max. <laughs> max it out. Well, you know, the, uh -oh. the iMac, uh, the, no, the iPhone Pro Max is only like a quarter inch wider than my old phone. So it really isn't. I always looked at people's iMac or iPhones and said, man, those are dinky. I don't know if I would want a phone there. Well, see, the thing about it is, is my my iPhone 8, all this area like right down here was it's black. Yeah, it wasn't screen. So, you know, now it's all screen. So, and this thing is, it's the same size externally, but it's got a lot more screen than my. Does your old. cover, is your cover that plat, not not adhered to the glass, but just the plastic clear coating, or is it? What do you got? The protective cover is that is that um, is a uh, it adheres to yeah. the glass on it. It's a uh, you put it. They put it on there, and you know they did a certain way, and no bubbles in it, and all that good stuff, and. The only one I don't have on it yet is the one over the uh, all the cameras, and I've got it in there to put on. I just haven't put it on yet. So. It takes two seconds. Put it on before you smash your. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that you say it take two seconds, but they put they put one on like three times at the store and it fell off. Like, are you serious? Off. Yeah, it kept well, falling. Off. The case but, I have seems to hug it, hug that. I don't know. I haven't even got the thing hooked up yet. I haven't even <laughs> experienced yeah. dropping yeah. or anything yet. Bill Bill said sticks to the glass but doesn't bond to the glass. That's right. It's it's a it's a it's kind of like a uh, it's kind of like a it's, it's almost a like a magnetic seal. Only that's silly with plastic and stuff. But it's what do you call that? Whenever a static a static seal is what it is. So 
kind of like whenever you have things that cling together. I mean, you put this thing close to the glass and it tries to pull to it. I see people in here saying, oh, it's uh, Android for me. Well, yep. whatever you're working with regularly, yep. is what, what's nice to stick with. Like I have iMac and I, uh, the desktop and all that stuff. My Android was odd, oddball out and it just didn't go with any, the flow of anything. Even download every time I tried to download something, it wanted to download all the pictures again. So I went through my computer the other day, and there was like five and six duplicates of everything. That's a good way of filling filling her up. Now I see why I was filling it up. I eat apples. I don't play with apples. Huh? You know. <laughs> I'm not pressuring you, uh, my wild home, to come up on panel, but anytime you're you're interested in doing that, you are welcome. Because I love seeing you guys. No pressure, though. No. There is no pressure. <laughs> that would be inappropriate. Yeah. Pressure you. Speaking of which, you know, I've got all my all my fixings right here next to me for a Dr Pepper float. <laughs> right now so <laughs> yeah good. james hall mm -hmm. i think that would be better than the root beer flow <laughs> yeah I, I i got all the fixings just i mean i just pulled them out just before you're live and set them right here because i like my ice cream to melt just a little bit so yeah it's happening it's gonna be on here in just a little bit no cotton candy. No. Oh, we got no one of candy. my favorites in here. One of my favorites in the green room. Uh oh. I got a lot of favorites. I got a lot, a lot. Of hey. this is Jeez, one of you're one of his favorites. Hi, I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you. How you Are doing? you guys doing? What did you do to pooch? Did you? Top liver. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, in, you're, you're definitely one, one of them. Come hop in, babe. Uh, Brian wants to see you since you're one of his favorites. <laughs> <laughs> I said Tish was. I didn't say anything else. <laughs> yeah, Tish. <laughs> you're, well, such you a favorite, doing? you're such a favorite that I don't even have a problem with being around your, uh, what is it called? My bagno. Bagno. My portable bagno. You feel free to use it. <laughs> well, I just wanted to pop on and say hey and just share about the God-led project that um, I had the honor of uh, being asked to be a part of. And um, it, I, my hope and my prayer, and I believe all of the authors that were part of this book, um, our hope is that the people that read it are... Um, inspired and encouraged and drawn closer to um, God, or if they're not believers, that they um, maybe it plants a seed and and they they want to know who 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 this God is. Who is it that helped us get through um, the um, the trauma for some women? The um, a, a lot of it is is trauma filled, and so the book is called Surrender to Rise, and obviously we. Um, as as humans, I'll speak for the authors and, and for myself, but in order for us to have gotten over and gotten through um, the trauma that was um, done to us, mine, uh, a lot of people think that, and I shared in our, our live, mine and Pooch's live, but a lot of people had asked if the trauma or the story that I was sharing, the testimony rather, was... Um, based on us getting through losing our son, Ben. But while God did get us through that, and there's no way we could have gotten through it without God, um, the story that I'm sharing or the testimony I'm sharing is one that happened to my children and I prior to my meeting Pooch. And so um, I just wanted to, again, not promote um, myself at all, um, but I want to promote God and... Um, and promote the book in 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 that um, people will again feel um, get some hope, gain um, feel God's love through it, and maybe want to find out 
more about who God is. And that was the whole purpose of reading the book, letting people know that they're not alone, letting people know that uh, God is real. He is good. Um, even in the midst of trials and tribulations, um, he's there with us. He doesn't cause it, um, but we go through it and he's there with us. We're not alone. So I just wanted to share that, um, Brian, and, and I appreciate the open mic and the opportunity to do that. Well, that's what this, my life is all about. And always has been is people coming in and uh, sharing, sharing their channel, sharing their stories. And man, I would love to have a conversation with you about God and Jesus, uh, Tish. Hey, anytime, anytime. I'm, I'm, I, um, my passion for God is, uh, I think it's greater because of what we've gone through. And I believe that a lot of Christians would, would probably say the same thing. Um, we've gone through a lot and we've gotten through because of God. Um, I'm not one to push uh, anything on people, but I'm happy to share what God has gotten me through and and who he is and what he means to me. And, you know, I was listening, I was on in, sitting in a Bible study earlier this morning. This might, um, uh, maybe it'll help people, maybe it won't. But uh, one of the Ten Commandments is to not use the Lord's name in vain. And that doesn't mean just in curse words. That means that we are, um, gosh, if I say that I'm a Christian, um, it would be the same as, um, or to, to use the Lord's name in vain would be for me to um, live a sinful life. That's what it would be. Um, I mean, we are all sinners saved by grace. But what I mean by that is to say that I'm a Christian and then go and do all these things that does not reflect God's love, right? So um, that too, um, in the Bible study that that I was in this morning, um, spoke volumes to me anyway, that, um, you know, we, we are representatives of the King and uh, how dare we use his name in vain. That's my take. I'm not here to preach, but uh, I hope that everybody would be inspired or encouraged to read this book that um, so many women, I think there are six or seven authors total. Um, man, they were very transparent and um, it was just an honor for me to be um, a part of it. So you feel free to come talk to me anytime, Brian. Yeah. I'm we're excited, getting bunkies, I'm excited so. to read that. Thanks, Johnny. Thank you. Absolutely, because, you know, there's a lot of, you know, you say there's six authors and, uh, you know, those stories, they've got to be very powerful. And, yeah. um, I, you know, it, it, you know, we never know what anybody's going through. Yes. You know, you, you look at people on the outside and you don't know what they're going through on the inside. Um you think their life is a certain way mm. and it may not be the way that oh. it appears to be. You're so, right. Uh, just, just a second. Let's introduce, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. No. He's been sitting there for, I wanted Trish to say what she was going to say, but then I said, you could be there in her talk still. Well, Hey, Tish, I've been sitting here listening to everything you say. And I'm loving listening to it. Brian, you didn't have to do that because I was just in fact I forgot I was behind the wall. I'm just sitting here listening. So we're good. You, Sorry, just go ahead. No, Tony, totally, you're great. Actually, it was Johnny. And Johnny, you're oh, so yeah. right. You know, people um can look at uh anybody, any human being, uh, any since we're on this uh platform, any YouTuber who people think, well, they've got it all together. And um, you know, yeah. uh you never know what someone's going through. You just never know or what they've been through or why they are the way they are. Um, you just never know. Maybe they haven't processed or healed from, or maybe they think that they have healed by um, not processing. Um, and so, um, and, and people, unfortunately, and I don't want to say judge, but maybe judge others based on um, what they think, um, perspective, perception, and not really truly know um, what a person has been through. So, um, right. but you're no, you're very right. You're right, Johnny. No sure. judgment. I mean, your your channel name is perfect, and yep. um, you know it. There's, I think, like I've heard things, and 
you know, God said, you know, love the person, hate the sin. And uh, so we are all, we are all unfinished. Okay. There's no, nobody here that is finished. We're all unfinished individuals, people. And so we grace is the only way that we're going to make it to heaven. We're not going to get to heaven because we were good. Right. I mean, just being good won't get you there. So you have to have grace. Everyone sins. There, there was only one who is without sin. And uh, he's coming back. So, um, you know, just just remember that whenever you're whenever you're looking at somebody and everything and you're thinking something, just remember they're, they're going through things. Everybody's going through things. I mean, I go through things all the time. I am nowhere near anywhere. You know, finished. I'm I'm a totally unfinished individual. Mm -hmm. I, I have seen, you know, I'm not going to say I don't, I do. And so you just, okay. you just try to, you just try to, uh, try to get past that to, uh, repent of your sin and, and try to make your life better and then be ready to meet Jesus because we're in that time, guys, that time is upon us. It's, Anytime. So you're nowhere near finished. I feel like I haven't even started. No, nowhere near. I know some of us haven't, you know. I mean, uh, well, some of us I think that we may have not started, but the Lord has been chiseling on everybody since birth, right? But uh Jennifer Ocean Homestead has a great uh comment there. Um, they say I got I get attacked all the time for the same thing. People see me doing things and cutting grass, etc., and don't know. Um Sorry, and don't know I have permanent spine damage and in so much pain all the time, but they don't believe it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it, it's it's um it is uh it is hard, man. It is just a hard place to be in this world. But the more people that can love one another or can at least try, um, you know, um the old golden rule, you know, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. I mean, man, that was the best thing ever. And um I believe if we are, are um, say that we are representatives of the one true King that um, we need to love or try to love as he as he does. But anyway, I just wanted to come on and share about the book, Brian. And it was good to chat with you, gentlemen. Tony, it's good to see you. Um, you. I'm going to hop out because I can certainly hog this mic. I like to talk a lot. <laughs> Pooch didn't come in. He is my one of my favorites. So, so Tish, we're going to we're going to get to see you at uh, Ten Killer. Yes, I can't wait. I can't wait to see yeah. everyone. So if I had gonna, a book, I would bring it and 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 give it away. But um, they are not going to be that. We're just having a pre-sale. So, by the way, if anybody wants to order. Um, a book. There's also a prayer journal that was um, created and designed um, with the reader in mind. As you're reading the book, if you want to jot something down, um, maybe write a prayer down for someone else, um, some feelings that you're going through. Maybe you're sad, maybe you're happy or angry. Um, certainly the Lord understands all of those feelings and emotions. He expressed those as well. But um, you can go to um, Show Your Crown dot com www.showyourcrown.com and um if you would click on my picture <laughs> uh, you see my picture click on it you have the option to buy just the book or there's a bundle and you can buy the book and the prayer journal um i bought the prayer journal and the book because uh boy do i need it and um but you, you can certainly go there and support um uh, any of the authors not just me i mean if you see someone else that you think hey i want to support them please do it the the whole purpose behind writing the book is um, to help others. So, um, but anyway, yes, I can't wait to see everybody at the meetup and give everybody a big hug. And um, if, if <coughs> someone after the chili cook-off wouldn't mind, let me come and, and bunk with you because I'm not staying where Pooch is staying. I'd appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> bringing a banyo for him to stay. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> see you later. See you later. Hey, thanks, Brian, for the time. I appreciate you. Always welcome. Bye. Right. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Before we get started with Tony, let's just 
hit on some of the people that uh, came in. Uh, where was that? Hey, Bowen, Reverend Dream, Evelyn Newman. Leonard yeah. Mountain Homestead. Troy Sutton. Troy. Uh, Huga Homestead. Heather. Evelyn Newman. Linda, Evelyn, yep. That's Heather. I'm trying to hit the ones that I didn't say before. Uh, Backyard Trucker. And Debbie Drock. Debbie Drock. And, and uh, Marketplace Banquet. Rebel at Heart. Good hey, Kelly. Thank you guys so much for coming in. I appreciate it. There's Thunderstick Homestead. Are you yep. feeling well enough to come up on live again? There's Linda. You're never too late, Thunderstick, and I'm glad that you're <sighs> feeling better than seeing you in the lives. You with ice cream and Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I, I'm you know what? I didn't diet for I was gonna I was gonna try to look good for this event. It failed. It failed big time. And I'm gonna go get myself some uh Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The load defeat. is great, James. <laughs> In weight loss defeat, I'm going to go get myself some Dr. Pepper and <laughs> vanilla ice. It's it's awesome. Yeah. It's it's from my childhood, guys. Well, it looks we good. always had Dr. Pepper, or we always had root beer and root beer floats, yeah. or even any of the flavors of pop, actually. But I don't think I've ever had Dr. Pepper. I'm sure Papa would like to have some Dr. Pepper and ice cream. How's he doing? He's doing good. Good. Doing good. Just typical things in life. He's probably just as good as he was last year when you saw him. Right. Uh, Wish we could see him this year. Yeah. Well... It's just a little bit much on him. He he f figured that he probably just didn't want to do that again. That's a long trip. Yeah, it's it is. Trip. That's why now you're it's going to be an even longer trip because I'm going to be doing it by myself. But I have some stops that are going to be fun, so that should break it up. I look. I really look forward to going to Bar Run Forge and talking with him and stuff. Right. Good. Yep. These uh these these floats, Dr. Pepper floats, that's my grandmother used to take me to a place called the ski hut whenever I was a little kid. And uh at the ski hut they made these floats and that was like one of my faves. So the other night some I don't know how we got on the subject, but it just came up and man, ever since then I've had one every night. So. Did you last week, like you and uh, Christine, went to the road to get some ice cream and, and Dr. Pepper? Now what? Didn't last week you do a video or you do talk about something about going to get ice cream and a Dr. Pepper? Um, I don't think so. I mean, we we did a live, and you know, on our live yeah. it was just like all about floats. As a matter of fact, James Hall, who's in the chat there, he left during the live went to the store, bought the stuff to make a float and went back home and got back, came back into the chat and he was enjoying his float. Yep. That, yeah. So, um, I don't think I've been, I don't think I've been live since, uh, that, since that night. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I have. Moist inside. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's good if we're moist inside. That's for sure. <laughs> The live was all about food I can't eat, Bowen says. Oh, no. <laughs> I was laughing at, yep. Did I say hi to Melinda Dobson? You have now. Hi, I Melinda have. Dobson. Yeah. Um, and uh, DJ Turner Roo is in here also. Hey, DJ. You need help? Come on. Go. Okay. And James enjoyed that. <laughs> that's it i'm gonna be having dr pepper floats for the 
<laughs> yeah, Beth Cornette said Neil did it. Everyone else was talking pie. They, we were, we were, you know, we we're talking pie, and then somehow we got over on these floats, and man, yeah. when we got on that, it was just game over at that point. Man, I can eat a gallon of ice cream at a time. I love ice cream. <laughs> Me too. We need to have a bunch of ice cream at the meetup. <laughs> Who knows how to make I Well, I don't know. Is is homemade ice cream as good? That's a question for everybody in the chat. Yeah, is no homemade ice, ice cream as good as store-bought ice cream? <laughs> it's real good. It, it's 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 a little time consuming. Have you had have you had snow ice cream? Uh, mm -mm. nope. I think I've seen it done on one of the channels. It's good. You know, you remember all those things that, that uh, you, can. you weren't supposed to do whenever you were younger? Not you know, really. <laughs> you don't eat the first snow. You don't, you know, you can't swim for what? Ha depending upon who your parents were, a half yeah. hour, hour, yeah. two hours, three hours after you eat, yep. et cetera, et cetera. And, and uh, says, not really. <laughs> No ice cream is delicious, just not the yellow one. <laughs> not the not no, the don't eat the yellow snow ice cream. No, don't, no. <laughs> that's what it, it is kind of yellow whenever that's you get where the vanilla gets its color. The vanilla, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just don't eat the if it's yellow when you put it in there, don't <laughs> around my house. I'm not eating no snow. It might have been Jennifer. No place the sweetest. I don't know that we had a poll though. I think we might have said, "Hey, who has been?" But I don't think we had an official poll going. Like ice cream, but sometimes doesn't like like back. Yeah, that's true. Some people are uh, lactose intolerant and have a hard time with it. Right. First snowflake is the sweetest on your tongue. Huh. If you can catch that first one, it'd be yeah. like 30 yards over there. <laughs> coming down. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Diving. <laughs> what have you been up to, Brian? Oh, I am finished. I, I am tomorrow. If I put that uh, door on, then the bathroom is finished. And and uh, Johnny left us. And then I can get started on other things. My, yeah, channel, yeah. my channel's going to be veering a little bit. It's not going to be... Now, I'm not going to stop doing the construction on the house. I will show that stuff, but there's a lot of redundancy in what I've got to do. So I'm not going to show people putting up trim and painting every video. Right, right. <laughs> and that's what, I mean, the next room is the dining room, and I've already done the ceiling on that in the channel. And uh, it's just door trim and, well, I'll show the flooring video. And... Uh, yeah, so that stuff I'm gonna video wise, I'm gonna move quickly through that stuff. I'm not going to show every detail like I did the bathroom. The bathroom had a lot of working parts that come out nice. So, if you guys haven't watched the videos on the bathroom, I, I need to make up a playlist for just the bathroom. There's not as many videos as you think there is on the bathroom, right? Bathroom playlist. Yep. Those playlists are, are, you know, they're a good tool. I yeah. still need to do like one of those master playlists like I hear everybody talk about doing. Man, I, I can't believe how far or how much I've learned about editing because my dad and I were doing something and we were just about ready to get up from breakfast and go to work and somehow one of my videos popped up from the early days. And we were like, wow, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is bad, huh? Like, I wouldn't even watch the. I, it was one of those videos that I think I might have watched one time or two times after it was out 
long time ago when I thought it was good. I said, I don't ever need to see this one again. <laughs> yep. And that was the first, it was almost exactly two years ago. So, right. So, yeah, my, my channel has done, I have improved personally my, a lot in my channel. Well, that's, that's what we strive for. And I only say that is because if you saw my stuff in the early days and thought, I don't ever want to see that again, well, come check it out again because <laughs> it's a lot better than it used to be. <laughs> oh, no. You know, it's, it's, real, it's real funny, though. You know, some of those early videos, I think it's because of YouTube al algorithm or something like that, but the views were so much higher. They right. were. That video that I'm talking about was like three times higher than what I've got going now. Yeah, they were. The, like, they stop were. watching this stuff and watch my good stuff. Well, I think <laughs> it's because, you know, you hadn't done all these other things. So it puts you in this spot and then you get a lot of views. Like it's kind of like those people who raise a certain type of duck. And every video that they do is about this duck. And it's just this duck and you know, that's all their channel is, is about a duck, one specific duck. And so they get lots and lots of views because they're so niched down. But then right. whenever you get like, you know, you're going to like in your example, going hiking, going to the, uh, to that, uh, park with the animal park working on the bathroom, putting in the sink, you know, the, the countertop, stuff like that. Then they be all over the place and you're, you know, they, they miss, they miss where you need to be. Let's just put it that way. No, I, I, I totally agree. And, and not only that, those, my videos aren't really vlogging videos either. So they don't even fit in that category. <laughs> so I got to, I got to do some serious reflecting on my channel and narrow it down to, well, I want to do what I always wanted to do with my channel is make stuff and that will narrow it down. Woodworking and there, whatever. There you go. Make most of my stuff that I will do is working with wood, whether it be painting or staining or routering or uh, laving they'll all be in that category. So I think eventually it will find its funnel down, funnel down. Bowen said he's pivoting when he comes back and he didn't, I'm sure YouTube won't put me out. Bowen, they will, if you will make another channel, a brand new channel. And, and if you're niched, very niched, they will. I'm just doing whatever I do on this property and show like I've got one coming out here coming up. It's, it's working on my truck and yeah. it's just not, you know, I'm, I'm just doing whatever I do on this property and that's same, it. Same Tony, same, you know, this, this homesteading deal is everything. Exactly. It's everything that you have to do, yep. you know, to, to live, you know, the home, you know, this lifestyle. Yep. So it's, it, it's all inclusive. I mean, you know, people, people you know, but YouTube is Ooh. funny, funny yeah. deal. Yep. Well, the thing of it is, is, you know, in my earlier videos, I had a real bad problem with talking directly to the screen. So I would designate these little tiny snippets of me talking into the screen maybe even only one or two times. And I wasn't making that personal connection with my viewers. Now I go to edit and I'm like, would you shut up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so I see Ginger's watched the video I put out today at four o'clock said, Hey, Johnny, just watched your video from today. Megan, I heard something we didn't know, but I'm super happy about it. We talked about this, Ginger. <laughs> we talked about you and Megan. Is this and, uh, 
Danny, uh, in a live somewhere or, or on the phone or something, we talked about it. So you shouldn't be too surprised. I've seen you put one out yet. I haven't watched it. Yeah. Danny Starr got hurt. Yeah. That's the one I need to watch. I watched all the other ones. Yeah. I don't know what in the world happened to him. I have no idea how he hurt himself, but he got hurt. And, uh, but anyway, yeah, I got, I went to another auction. I got to go to an auction last Saturday. It was great. I actually bought some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's Maybe. funny. Oh, when we went up to, uh, up to Oki, um, uh, expo. Yeah. On the way up there. Well, then I was in, I know I was in prior or right outside prior. I love estate auctions or auctions. And I turned to the right, I looked, and there was a massive farm auction. I mean, I was so close to slamming on the brakes and turning <laughs> right. But I knew if I did that, I wouldn't show up to noon. And then <laughs> like, like five more miles, there was another one. I was like, is this meant that I'm supposed to go to auctions or am I supposed to go to the OP thing? Oh, because I... I can spend all day at an auction like that. And there was two of them within like five miles up there. Yeah. And those, those are, those are nice. See, that's what I went to. I went to a farm, e farm auction is what right. I went to. Yep. It wasn't a livestock auction. It was, uh, and yeah. I was there looking for stuff and I actually was able to come up with two things that I've been needing. And, um, so I've got, I'm going to make a video about it, about it. I think, I think it, it's, you know, one of them is a pretty big deal. <laughs> so I, I need to go to an auction so I can have another thing on my channel. Yeah. There you, <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Auctions are awesome. Yeah. I love them. Uh, crazy. Yeah. So, uh, Megan, here, here's the thing that Ginger's talking about. May, we have two calves that are unnamed um, out there. And the two calves that are unnamed, I told Ginger and Megan, they could each name one. And uh, Megan was super excited about that. I mean, super excited. So it's a, it's a little bull and a little heifer. So be thinking about that. <laughs> Yes, it was farm equipment auction. That's right. You're right, Linda. Uh, I just, I don't know. You, if there's an auction, I've got a couple people I watch, and if it's there, I'm gone. I'm going to it. Hey, I picked up some. Uh, I picked up some actual paperwork while I was at that auction of two more auctions that I need to go look at them. And I think one of them was like, I know one of them's like. It might have been today. I need to go look at them. Yeah. <laughs> I know the other one is like the sixth. I think one of them is the sixth. But I need to go to those. <laughs> You'd be surprised, Jennifer Ocean, on the yeah. you can't afford the auctions. Sometimes you will see stuff like I bought something that should have cost way more than it did at this auction. And, uh, I mean, I'm thinking, have you guys seen videos where somebody goes, I bought the cheapest blah, blah, blah I could find. And this is how it turned out. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is what this one's going to be like. <laughs> I bought the cheapest. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Nobody was bidding. I was like, really? <laughs> Gen Jennifer Ocean homestead is new to my channel i've i've never seen her in my chat so welcome in and Canada. where did you come from who sent you who sent you <laughs> she, she's been in a lot of a lot of lives uh i was on a live the other night and she uh at the after party and she was in the in the after party oh yeah cool yeah so is she a new channel or did she just find the community recently? Uh, uh she can tell you. I mean, <laughs> tell us, tell us everything. 
And uh, I, I know if, if, if uh, Tamara's in here, they go to auctions all the time. Oh, I love watching their stuff. They're always at an auction. They find some yep. really cool stuff. I like that uh, coffee deal that they had. Uh, oh, it's been about two months ago. With the glass one, coffee grinder. Oh, Can man. I fish? On that one. No, James. Danny Starr is not going to freezer camp. <clears throat> oh, is. Yeah, and then what did Jesse say? That's not what I paid. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tamara and oh. David, are they going out? They, they leaving? Good night. Not Tamara. I'm going to have to get with Critter Creek and get a... Uh, get a... Um, right, Jay. PDF file of that logo because that one is showing up fuzzy. I don't know why, but I need to go down to the uh, advertising company that I use and get that printed off. Yeah. Um, I did. I did design it in Canva so I can show you after the live. <laughs> okay. The uh, outcome. Right. And it's kind of rough. It's kind of rough. Well, I hope he's got a PDF file because he sent. He said he sent us the best thing he had. It worked fine for the. Well, shirt. maybe she'll be able to take it and sharpen it up. I, I'm <laughs> sure. I mean, she she uses Adobe Photoshop. She's got to be able to sharpen it up. But if it was already sharp, that would probably be better. Jeff Oceans. Homestead commented up there about five. Just started posting videos three, four weeks ago. I have years of videos, but don't know how to edit like a lot of us didn't. Mm -hmm. Still don't. <laughs> At that time, so I've been here watching for years. Homestead channels and just haven't posted. Editing, editing is one of those things where you think you're doing good and then you always improve even more. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. There's always room for improvement. <laughs> even, even the ones that are doing yeah. really well, they, they can improve even more. You know, right. you know, the thing about it is, is like you get everything, you get your whole video made. Like I use iMovie. In an iMovie, I have to after I get it all edited, I have to I have to share it to a um, not to not I don't share it directly to YouTube. I share it to a hard drive, so I'm sending it to a, an external hard drive that I have, and I get it all done and I share it to that hard drive, and it takes like 30 minutes to get to it onto the hard drive, and then whenever I get it on there, it, I go man, I should have put this one little part in there or I should have moved something or I should have, you know, and then I just go, well, too late now. I'm not going to do all that again. So I, just <laughs> I have re, uh, re well, resaved it to my computer after I went through it again and saw something. I, I just a little something I didn't like. I said, is it worth it? Yeah. I, you know, because you edit when you go to edit, everything's just as itty bitty pieces and parts and they're all over the place and, and you're trying to put them together. And uh, Good night, even, Irene. even when you're done, it, it you don't feel the complete impact of the video until actually I don't feel it until I actually put it out on YouTube and I watch it through YouTube. Then I go, oh, that's that's how it looks. Right. Yeah how i mean then you feel it how you intended it it's not bits and parts anymore yeah i, I work on them I, I do a lot of a lot of editing work on them so much that whenever i put them out on youtube i never even watch them i hear you i mean i put it out and i don't i i haven't watched the last like the last four videos i haven't even watched them 
I mean, I, I go over them so many times in the editing process, working through it, working through it, working through it, that whenever it, you know, I'm like, I've seen this thing a hundred times at this point, <laughs> you know? So and you tell me, did you know that you, you know, the title, you misspelt it? I was like, <laughs> I've looked at it a hundred times. I never even caught it. <laughs> That's a good one. Miss. Yeah. Especially if you type it in, I used to put, um, I mean, if you got on thumbnail, you can change your thumbnail pretty easy. Yeah. But if you've got it, uh, like in the actual video, in the edited video, you know, where I used to, I had a title pop up, you know, in the video, it was like one of the first, and yeah. I don't do that anymore because I was like, if I misspell it, that's a whole editing job on the front of yeah. that video that's yep. already out. Well, just look at it this way. As people catch it, they'll leave a comment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You Mark, please that boutique. I've seen, a couple of comment. <laughs> I've seen a couple of folks on here I'm not familiar with. Irene Turner, Marketplace Boutique. I don't like watching my rewatching my videos either. She says, right. I've got all these little notes all over as, <laughs> I'm, as I'm editing to make sure you put this in the description or whatever. No. And I'll send I'm like, Oh man, I forgot the note. It's sitting right in front of me. You, you spend so much time looking and editing and I have to get up and go do something and then come back at it again because it just, I don't know. To me, it gets overwhelming sometimes. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot, you know, I've got that little bitty snippet intro thing that I put, like I put three or four scenes in, then the little snippet intro. And I, I don't know how many times I forgot to put that intro in. I just blow right past it and just <laughs> you put it out. Yep. Irene Turner has been around for a while now. I just, it's just, I haven't seen her on, uh, I don't think I've seen her in our live and stuff like that. I have seen Irene in other. Uh, oh, <laughs> she watches me all the time. <laughs> Thank no, you. Irene. I, I apologize. Profusely. I have seen her name around. I have seen it. I just, I just, I'm having a brain a moment. Maybe I maybe I froze my brain with this Dr. Pepper float right here. <laughs> I'm making another note that I mean Turner. Good evening. How you doing? <laughs> she says she watches you all the time, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, we've been talking about her for like five minutes now, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know that you were talking about her specifically. <laughs> yeah. I knew that you were talking about somebody. I didn't make the connection. I wasn't, I just didn't ask. Yeah, Irene has been around a long time. Everybody's reminding me of that. I've but known her since my, she not, my deepest apologies. I apologize. <laughs> then you got my brain then, brother. Now. Yeah. And that's the other thing. I've got I've got the CRS disease. <laughs> I have a hard time remembering a lot of things. My my you daughter ready she, to pop in. My daughter loves to uh, um sure. she loves to to take me to movies because I can watch a movie and two weeks later I absolutely cannot remember anything about it. Two? It's <laughs> yeah. I don't remember nothing about it. <laughs> That's I, right in front of me. There's one, two, three, four, five, six notes because I'll forget it. <laughs> hey, Josh. Josh, yeah. you home yet? It's Josh. Where was he that he's just getting home? Well, he, he, a lot of times he doesn't get home till late. Right. Oh, from work? Yeah. Yes, from work. Sometimes he's, he gets called out on his vehicles if he's got to go out to get him or do what he's going to do. <laughs> Irene watches all the Arkansas people. Thanks, right. Not in Arkansas. 
<laughs> I don't think any of us are in Arkansas, are we? <laughs> nope, Tony's nope. not. Brian, nope. not. Um, I watch uh, White Rock, some junked gems, and Little Mama V, and trying to remember. There's, I'm, I'm sure. I'm, oh, Tilted K, yeah. Did I say hi to Tim Mason? I think I did, but hi. Reverend Dream is in Arkansas. I think I watched uh, you, um, uh, uh, Jason and Tira and then um, White Rock and then uh, Making It a Home. Yeah, um, Making It a Home. They're in Arkansas, aren't they? Yep, yeah, yep, yep. But yep. after that, you know what? Because I'm so busy. Oh, man, I, I can't watch them. Actually, I, I found my – I hate wearing my sweatshirt, but I found that I can – turn on a channel and put it in my sweatshirt pocket and will not turn off. I can literally listen to people's videos so I can hear what's going on. And that way I can do that while I'm working outside. You know, I, I don't comment, but I do listen to everybody. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Nod your head. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Sherman, Sherman. How's it going? Hey, we're doing all right. How are you, Josh? I'm uh, doing all right. Good to see you. Yes, good to Josh. see you. Right. And speaking of another person that's going to be at Ten Killer, right yep. here, right? <laughs> I'm going to be there. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I uh, I, I know it's almost time to get off, but I wanted to pop in real quick. Uh, everybody knows I've been busy for a while. I got, I nobody's seen too much of me here lately, but. Just had a lot going on, and uh, here just the uh, well, it was uh, Sunday night. I had to go. My great grandma moved in with us. Yeah, to get a room ready and redo the flooring, and and it was Trinity's birthday, so we've been we've been busy. Not right, right now. I've been working on it right now. So, but I wanted to pop in and say hi and well, let everybody you. know that see you. I, I haven't been abandoned. Everybody just been. Been really, really busy. <laughs> yep. No, we got it. It's been crazy the last week or so. Yeah. Um, Irene was at Ten Killer last year. Irene, are you going to be at Ten Killer this year? Because <laughs> see, What's last that? year I didn't know anybody. Irene from. Killer. Do what? I was asking Irene if she was going to be at Ten Killer this year. She said she was there last year. And you think the year before. last year I was there, but I didn't know anybody. Yeah, I don't know if I met Irene or not. She said yes. Oh, there you go. Nice. Okay, uh, another Irene, name we can put on the thing. All right. Perfect. Please Thank say you. hi to us. Yep. Yes. Because we need to see. We're putting names of everybody who are coming. Uh, we're trying to get. A lit every like uh on on we have a little board and uh that we work through on this 10 killer meetup and three of the folks on the board are on this live right now up here on the <laughs> look who got in by a skin of his teeth. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hey Bar Run Ford. How you doing this evening? Hope you're doing well. Hey, I talked to uh Charles. Um yes. Okay, I, I, I talked to him this morning for a little bit, and um, he told me that um, he will not be camping there because I told him I was going to offer him a spot to camp or whatever because I, I didn't know, but I wanted him to be close to us. He said that um, he's got an aid worker that said that would that drives him around. Yeah. And I guess uh, he was going to try to have her uh, drive him up for the day to be up up to us or we can meet him and see him again. And uh, but he said that he's not gonna be able to move around a whole bot a whole bunch. And yeah. um, I told him that wherever he decides to plant his chair or whatever, I've got an awning type set up that or a uh, canopy thing that I, it's a big heavy duty one. I was gonna plant it there. So he may be there. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. he's he's not doing real good. I mean 
you know, he's in a lot of pain. Um, so we'll just see if he shows up. I hopefully he does. He's I'm gonna call him a couple times. I got a note on the computer screen. Yeah. I, I, days. Thank you. Thank you, Troy. Troy is sending that later with Brian. It is his birthday today. Happy birthday, Troy. Happy birthday. birthday. Troy. Happy birthday. March and, birthday. Uh, well, you'll be on tomorrow Happy night. Birthday. I know everybody else is on too, but Barron Forge is on tomorrow night. So you're going to have to go check him out. You yep. guys have, everybody has two computers, an iPhone and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I'll be watching. The so Reverend Dream has subscribed to uh, Sherman's and Tony and our cabin. Yep, seen that. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Grounds Family Farm. Is that you yeah, I think it's Grown. Uh, Grown. Grown. That's Kevin. Oh, uh -oh. okay, people. We're done. <laughs> uh, two minutes after. I thank everybody that came in on the chat and my moderators for protecting my channel. Thank you for everybody that came up on panel. Fun. I always enjoy this. Sorry, I was late. In fact, it got me <laughs> off my mind off of that tech junk <laughs> mess that I'm in right now. <laughs> now. I gotta go think about it again. I, I had I got a new iPad and I haven't even you know later you you know you can do all these <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking, Johnny. <laughs> Tony, I don't I have I don't need all that fancy glitter. Uh, I just look good. Yeah. Oh, is that, is that what it is? <laughs> all right, everybody. Next <laughs> Wednesday, another open mic. Good night, buddy. Nine o'clock. Good night, everybody. See you later. I totally messed that up. Okay. Good night. Good night. <laughs>